Hey guys, so today we are going to look at is Alpha Investment Patreon's VIP Double Masters a really good deal? And I have done some more research, mainly on eBay and Amazon. So it is a good deal compared to Amazon, but it is not a good deal compared to eBay. And I'm just going to break the numbers down for you and, and tell you about um, how margins and how things are formed. So um, when people sell on, on eBay, they pay a fee. When people sell on Amazon, they pay a fee. The problem with Amazon is Amazon's fee is greater than both uh, TCGplayer.com or eBay's fees. Therefore, the cost has to be higher. And the main person who's able to compete on Amazon, that's Wizard of the Coast themselves because they can cut the margins of their product any way they want to. Um, anyone else is not going to compete. And the reason Amazon is not going to be the cheapest price is due to the amount of money, just simply due to the fees Amazon takes is closer to 30% um, rather than TCG players, 15%, uh, uh, 12, 15, 18%, depending on how you calculate things and your own time. And then, of course, uh, eBay. Uh, eBay takes anywhere between, again, 12 12, 15, 18%, depending on your seller level or what you're selling. So when you talk about Alpha Investments, um, number one, he's a reliable shipper. Um, so that's always something that you can pay more for. Um, if someone reliably ships out, you will pay more. But at the same time, you can look at um, various components of how much did it sell? Is this a real local game store? Is this you know legitimate? Um, how often are they selling? Do they sell magic cards? Or this is the first time they're selling something? Um, and is it likely they, if they're going to sell uh, 2,000 packs, do they, do you believe they have 2,000 packs, right? Um, and then what is their current reviews? Do they have lots of negative reviews and so on on eBay? So even though um, Rudy is probably more trusted than these eBay vendors I will show you, um, I don't think it really matters that much if the eBay vendor is someone with um, 10,000 reviews and most of it's positive and they sell magic cards and you can see that they have a magic the gathering store which um, a lot of these people do obviously so back to the analysis um, I don't know if anyone's really peeled the curtain away and asked themselves hey is this a good deal uh, is being a patron at Rudy's a good deal? Um, and that's a that's a pretty tough question to ask, right? Uh, that's not easy because you're going to get a lot of haters on your channel. <laughs> Trust me about this. Uh, yeah, you're going to get lots of haters on your channel, but the numbers are the numbers, and that's why I'm uh, addressing this right now. The numbers are the numbers. So if you find something on eBay from a qualified buyer, and their numbers are lower than Rudy's, um, then they're just lower than Rudy's. Um, so, there. I mean, that's uh, that's that, right? So it's nothing against Rudy or anything. It's just that I don't see many people actually, and even MTG Finance people who don't like Rudy, they don't like Rudy not because they have a good reason not to like Rudy. Um, they don't like Rudy because they just don't like him. Um, but th no one's actually gone over the math, which is pretty crazy to me. Um, like no one's actually said, is this a good deal or is this a bad deal? And a simple Google search that takes about two minutes can identify this. Um, but then again, you need a piece of information that you may not have um, readily available. If you're not a patron of Rudy, you don't know how much he's charging for these packs. And that's kind of the key. This is the mystique, if you will. Um, it's it's the mystique, right? Um, of how much a pack. So he's charging eighty nine ninety nine plus um, your Patreon dollars uh, for a, if you bought four. That's the minimal buy that he is willing to entertain. Now there's a guy on eBay right now selling four of them for. What is the price? I just pulled up the price a few moments ago. Um, 
If you bought four, he's selling them for $79.97, so about $10 cheaper a pack, uh, which is a considerable amount of money. Um, plus, you know, I think it's a qualified individual. He has 99.1% positive feedback, 5,433 reviews and sales, and he has about 2,000 of these, and it looks like he's going to town. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is kind of crazy to me that no one's actually done the math on this and no one's actually made a video about is it actually a good deal. Um, when you're talking about MTG Finance and you're talking about all these numbers, it, it's really, it's the numbers, right? They don't lie. Um, now, of course, would I rather, um, is it more likely that Rudy delivers than this person? Yes, but I think because this person is a store, a mystical games, that the the rate of delivery is high. Um, it's not low, it's high. Um, so I wouldn't be too concerned about the delivery aspect of um, the product in this case. So yeah, I mean, you could do this for all of Rudy's products and see if uh, it's a good deal or bad deal. And the crazy part is you cannot compare it to two years, five years from now, because you could have invested in a stock and that stock could have made more money um, you have to compare it to the today. What else is out there today that I can buy that is exactly the same for how much? So I know um, a lot of times in Rudy's videos, he mentions that, hey, you know, look, you know, I was selling this for $80 a box at the time, but that was the market price at the time. So you can't compare it to what you were selling something. Oh, I was selling, selling Conspiracy 2 for $80 a box. Yeah, that's great, but Dave and Adams were selling for 70 and with coupon you get for 65. The same set, yeah, that set went up. So it's not like, um, the way I would rationalize this is, let's say we have two, let's say we have $1,000 today. Whatever the price of the product was yesterday or two months ago or two years ago does not matter when I'm buying it today. I can't tell a vendor, hey, you know what? Uh, I would like to buy Conspiracy 2 for Eighty dollars because you had it on sale five years ago for eighty bucks. Not going to fly. Um, so you have to compete the you have to compare the prices today, and that's why the video format is so interesting. You know, I do the Star City buy list because I think it's crazy how much money. Not um, Star City um, pre order because I, I do it as soon as all the cards come out because that's going to be the high point for the majority of the cards. And then I can look at the video and laugh at how ridiculous, you know, some people were paying for their cards. And that's why whenever a set releases, I always do a video and I tell you the price. I screenshot it. It has a timestamp and so on. Um, I, I've just never figured out why for someone who sells so much product like Rude, no one's ever done any type of analysis uh, on, you know, like the collector's cases and um, it's pretty mind-boggling to me that in when we're when talking about getting really great deals and things and that's what you worry about you worry about the ten dollars here twenty i mean that's by definition what you're worried about um people just don't do the calculations here um they're okay with accepting whatever it is even if it is you know ten dollars more expensive a box and you have to buy a ton more boxes and still it's cheaper uh, i can tell you ebay um that if this vendor, if you were to approach this vendor, I believe the vendor is in Minnesota, and you told the vendor, hey, you know what, I saw this listing on eBay, um, would you take 12 or 15% off and I'll buy a bunch? I guarantee you they will say yes, because I myself say this all the time. That if you find something on eBay and it's sold, you know, it's an eBay sold listing, not a eBay currently, you know, or buy list or something. Well, you, know, you wouldn't pick the buy list, right? A current auction, I guess and it's a recent sell, then yeah, I'll give it to you for uh, 12 to 15, I'll give it to you 15% cheaper um, than eBay because it saves me the hassle of the eBay fees. And that's the same with any of these stores. If you were their locals, if this was your local game store, I'm, I'm positive they would be happy to give this to you for at least a 15 or at the very minimal 10% discount on the 79. So, I mean, it's probably $70 a box they would be happy with. They would give you a $10 off discount, and especially if you bought more. 
So I think that's the true price of this product is the cheapest price that you could get it. All these stars aligning is about $70 a pack. Hi guys.